Hi guys and welcome to the channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. I really do appreciate it so very much. Welcome. My name is Aiden. I'm so happy that you're here for my Ipsy and Macy's. We have Macy's. Uh, it didn't come in this bag, but I put it in this bag. Uh, and then I have Ipsy as well. Both of these are $15 a month now because Ipsy has is 13, but it has a $1.99 handling fee. Macy's has always been 15. I unbox these every month. So if you are interested, there will be a playlist up above. And then don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoy these because uh, I enjoy them. I love seeing what other people get. So I watch a lot of unboxing videos. I know they're not as popular as they used to be. Also, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so already. I hope you are enjoying the channel. I am so grateful. I just finally hit 2K. I can't believe it. It's been years. And that was my goal for 2022. So I'm so happy that I finally hit it. And um, hopefully we'll keep growing. So thank you to everyone who's watching. Thank you for everyone who has subscribed. It means so very much to me. All right, let's start with Ipsy. I stuck the card in here because it was outside. And this is the card this month. It does tell me what's how much things are worth, which is great. I I'm not crazy about the bag this month. I don't love animal print. So this is not my favorite. And orange is, is not a color that I really enjoy either. So. Not my favorite bag this month, for sure. First thing I'm pulling out of here is from Firma, and this is the 201. It looks like it's kind of flat, but it's also kind of a fluffy. I don't know, I don't, this isn't the type of brush that I would really use. I like something either fluffy or something more compact in its bristles. This retails for $12.99, it is a full size. I think I'm gonna pass that along because I have so many brushes, don't really need it. So we'll do that. Then we have from Basic Skin. This is a strawberry lip scrub. I'm not gonna open this because I have some lip scrubs that I need to use up that are drying out. So hopefully leave this uh, alone. This cannot be a full size. It says this is a full size. This is tiny for a lip scrub and it's $20. Like I would not pay $20 for it. I mean, it might smell amazing, but $20 is a lot for that little amount of product. Especially like lip scrubs are so easy to make. As said by somebody who has never made a lip scrub, but in theory, they're easy to make. Like I've seen people use them or you can just use sugar or your toothbrush. That's, I usually just, you know, exfoliate with my toothbrush. All right, next up we have from Mark Anthony. This is the Coconut and Shea Hydrating Leave-In Conditioner. Full size of this is $9. So it's supposed to be 8.45 ounces. This is about maybe a fourth, about a fourth, I would say. Uh, it's sealed. Okay, I was going to smell it, but um, that will be nice. I will use that. I do use leave-in conditioners like or sprays or something every time I wash my hair, so definitely will get use out of that. Then we have from Benefit. This is their Real Magnet. I tried this mascara. It did not stay on my lashes whatsoever. It was transferred like crazy immediately. It was like not immediately, but you know, within a couple hours, raccoon eyes. Was not a fan, was not impressed. Uh, this retails for $27 for full size. We'll definitely be passing that along because I have no, I, no desire to have raccoon eyes. That is not something I enjoy. Then this is what I chose. This is from Juicy Couture. This is the Choose Juicy Red Roses, Juicy Peach and Magnolia. It's a candle. It's, it's a very tiny candle. It's like a tea candle, uh, a votive basically. I don't really get the rose scent in it. I definitely get the peach and like magnolia. It's it's a sweet candle. It's pretty. Um, I I would probably buy juicy candles to be honest because they're juicy couture and I'm a sucker for juicy couture. Uh, it's my favorite fragrance brand. Then this one retails for full size for thirty five dollars for fifteen ounce. So that seems a little expensive, but I'm sure they go on sale because everything goes on sale all the time. Anyway, that's my Ipsy. Let's see, this is okay. Maybe eventually I'll use the lip scrub. So three of them are okay. The other two, I'm not. they're not useful to me. So three out of five, it's an okay bag. Not as good, I, like last month was a really good month. So I'm a little disappointed this month, just in comparison. Let's hope December is better. All right, next up is Macy's. And this bag was in the box. So I just stuck the package inside of it. So I'm pretty sure it's a Shiseido takeover, say, seeing as that is what the bag says. Uh, it says Japanese beauty secrets inside. 
it's a nice size bag. Like it's much larger than an Ipsy. Like, you know, has some space on it. Definitely has a width to it as well. It kind of reminds me of like the Clinique gift with purchase bags, to be honest. Um, it's not the nicest looking bag, but it's okay. Then we have our little uh, card in here that tells us what everything is. And then it has a five off of $20 future purchase. Uh, let's get into the little roll of things. First thing we have is the Urban Environment Sun Dual Care Oil Free with Hyaluronic Acid. Oh, this is a sunscreen. November seems like a weird time to throw in sunscreen. I mean, I know you're supposed to wear it every day, but um, I, I'm not outside very often at all. So this one is retails for $48 for a full size. And that's what it looks like. I think I've might have another one of these already to try out. So, I mean, I will eventually use sunscreen. I just, I'm fairly outside in the sun, like ever. Probably filming in front of a window is the most sunshine I get. And the sun is behind me at this point. It's, it's never direct sunlight because honestly, I don't get up that early. Then the next thing, oh, this is another uh, sunscreen. This is the Ultimate Sun Protector Lotion in 50. Oh, um, two sunscreens, two tiny sunscreens. This one retails for $49. Um, they're supposed to be white, no white cast. Supposed to be more effective in water and heat. And it's supposed to block dryness. Well, that's not good for somebody who's oily. The little description they have, this one honestly sounds like oil of Olay. Like they're skin cream that they had back in the day. I remember my mom had it and that's what it sounds like. All right, next up is this little guy. I have several of these and I do really enjoy it. This it is the, uh, it says this is new. That's interesting. It looks very similar to things I already have. The Altimune Power Infusing Concentrate, $140 for a full size. Uh, I'm not gonna be buying a full size because I don't wanna spend $140 on the serum. Then we have this guy, which is the uh, Altimune, Immune eye. So this is the power infusing eye concentrate. It retails for $70. Not going to be spending $70 for an eye cream. Plus I have so many eye creams. I think I have probably 10 years worth of eye creams that I'm just going to be constantly trying to use up. So yeah, it's, it's okay. It's fine. Uh, the last thing in here is this little box, which is the essential energy hydrating cream. It retails for $49 for a full size. It doesn't tell me what any of the full sizes are in this, uh, this time, which is kind of annoying. And that's what it looks like. The packaging is very pretty. I like the packaging on this one. So we have five samples. I mean, obviously this is worth $15 given the price of these things, but do I think this is great? No, I, I don't really want two sunscreens in November. I want my perfumes. Like I'm sad that there are no perfumes, especially like there's so many new perfumes that have come out that they could be providing samples from. So I'm hoping that December will be better because this one was okay. I'm excited for Sh Sh Shado. Blah, 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 blah. That name always trips up my tongue. I, I'm excited for them. Like I think it's a good brand and I've enjoyed what I've tried from them. But neither bag was like super exciting for me this month. Maybe they were super exciting for you. Let me know down below. I hope you're all having a fantastic day. Thank you so much for stopping by. And I can't wait to talk to you next time. Bye.